We are live! What is happening, everybody? Thank you for joining us for this uh, spur of the moment, unrehearsed, <laughs> fly by the seat of our pants, live <laughs> broadcast from the Samuel Miller Mansion in Columbia, Pennsylvania. We are at 131 Locust Street in Columbia, Pennsylvania. We have a new venue that just opened up. This is the grand opening. And it is a very interesting event so far. Uh, we kind of wandered through. And, and yeah, for, for those that's uh, going to be joining us at 8 o'clock for the kickoff investigation, um, when we first got here and Dave was setting everything up here, uh, I went up and wandered around upstairs for a little bit. And let me tell you, Dave, it's... It's pretty spooky up there. I'm not yeah. saying that because we're here. I, I didn't go up yet. It uh, it because I was up there. It was uh, broad daylight, and there were certain areas at, at, at the top of the mansion that it was just I couldn't. I actually had to pull my flashlight out. I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face, oh. and that was during the daytime. So, um, we haven't done and we haven't done any. We haven't done no preliminary sweeps. We haven't tried no EVP work. We yep. are completely saving it. Because like I told everybody earlier, we haven't been here yet. This is yeah. all new to us. Yep. We, I don't know none of the claims. Um, so, nothing. So, so if you guys know where the Haunted Haldeman Mansion is, usually you take a right at the uh, Turkey Hill. This is you take a left and it's right it's down right the street. It's right there. Yeah, it's, it's a nice location. It, <coughs> it kind of threw me for a loop when we first got here because when you come through the main doors, it's an active Print printing shop. shop that looks like from the 50s. Yeah. And man, they opened the door, and we went. Up, I went upstairs, and it it's pretty nice, man. So I have a history of the house, and I'm just gonna kind of read this to you. The house of uh, Samuel Haldeman at what is now one Samuel Haldeman. Or, sorry, Samuel Miller. <laughs> My bad. Uh, sorry, where I'm at. That the, the house of Samuel Miller at what is now one three one Locust Street was bought by the Columbia Bank and Bridge Company for twelve hundred dollars in eighteen eleven. And was used by the Bridge Company as an office until 1872. William Beatty, treasurer of the company, occupied all rooms except for the first floor and to the right of the large central hallway and winding staircase. The house was located in the northeast corner of Locust Street and Bank Alley and was built in 1804. And before altered for business purposes, was a beautiful mansion of many rooms and a large back building. All fireplaces are part of and are and Part of the stairway have been removed, and nothing of its for and nothing of its former splendor remains. The history of this building lies deep in sec uh, secrecy of what is known as the Underground Railroad. If you get stuck on a word, just sound it out. Think slower. I'm syllable sorry. by syllable. Man. <laughs> Many historic figures, such as Stephen Smith, Thaddeus Stevens, William Whipper, and William Wright, held meetings. Dave Haynes, did you hear that? Thaddeus Stevens. Uh, held meetings for business as directors of the Columbia Bank and Bridge Company. This company was vital for transportation over the Susquehanna, uh, Susquehanna River, and was owned by host and uh, a host of shareholders. The first bridge was started in 1811 and completed in 1814, where a toll was placed on all transportation modes such as cows, horses, wagons, and cro for crossing the river. What's up, Ray? Hey, Ray. Uh, after the Columbia Bank and Bridge Company moved out, the building, uh, Brenneman's Feed Mill, was built, uh, built the carriage house and mill building. Uh, the, their business flourished until the late 1800s to early 1900s until the automobile was introduced and feed for horses was no longer needed in Columbia. In the uh, eight, uh, 1920s, a Baker Toy Company took up residence where many patented products were designed and manufactured over the following six decades. Subsequent to that, uh, S&G Printing operate, uh, operated out of this building until 2017 when, uh, when Art Printing, owned and operated by Chris Rodabaugh, moved there from Lancaster. So this is a picture of where we're at, which is really cool. Um, Arnie's already been, if you look in the picture uh, right there, all the way at the top, there's three levels um, of where that big uh, kind of oval is, where the carriage house is. He's been all the way to the top of that. And it's kind of kooky and spooky. It, it, yeah, it is. It really is. It was more, um, when I got up there, it was much larger than I was anticipating. And I, I think it's going to be a, a, a good night. Good night. So, good night. 
I hope it is. Um, I know we have a few tickets left. Now, one of the things I wanted to do while we're on air is one of our friends sent us something to my house. Ernie does not know what it is yet. Wait a minute, let me hear if it's... I don't hear no ticking. All right, so I'm safe. what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one out. No peeking. No peeking. No peeking. No peeking. No peeking. All right, now you. There's one for you. There's one for me. I'm going to hand you this, and on the count of three, we're going to open it. Ready? One. You have one, two, two, three. So, Miss Sue Whittle oh, sent wow. us <laughs> that, coffee cups. That is awesome. So, so thank you. So you rock thank and roll, baby. Much. This is like awesomeness. This is actually one of our uh, radio show banners. Yep, that's the one we usually use behind us. That is awesome. Yep. Thank you, Sue. So we're gonna hand this to our, our little helper off stage. Say say hi, helper off stage. Hello. That is my daughter Grace, who came with us. She loves ghost hunting at this point. So, otherwise, uh, what else we got going on? Um. Real quick, tomorrow, not today, but tomorrow, tomorrow is our regularly scheduled episode of Step Into the Paranormal, where our special guest is going to be Miss Laura from, formerly from the Haldeman Mansion, now York Ghost Tours, the owner of York Ghost Tours, so yeah. uh, we have a lot to, that's going to be exciting, because over the past two and a half years, uh, Dave and I have <coughs> done a lot of work at the mansion, and um, we're going to miss it, we have a lot to talk about, yeah, yeah. and of course, we, we did an opening event at York Ghost Tours, which it went well. So uh, We also we have, have a lot to talk about coming up on the 26th. 26th, there uh, are, two weeks from tonight, yeah, actually. There are a few tickets left. Uh, so uh, it's all posted over uh, Paranormal Inc. Um, if you're not sure how to get there, right here. I will, where you go. Uh, later tonight or tomorrow, I will repost the ad again. That's going to be in York, Pennsylvania. And this is actually, a, this is like a first time uh, doing an event like this for us. Because what it is, it's a public investigation of a location that's supposed to be very, very active. However, what makes it special is it's a residential home. It is. And right now it's unoccupied. It is, someone either bought it or scheduled to rent it starting November. So they're we're going to get it. They're yeah, renovating it. We're right going to get in there and investigate it before this family moves in. So you ought to come out and check it out because I would love when this family to moves oh, in yeah. and say, "Hey, look, <laughs> this is what you got going on before oh, you even get here." Snap. Yeah. So it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, like I said, it's a, a <clears throat> normally your public events or or venues like this or different mansions or stuff like that. But with this being, you know, we're smack dab in the middle of a residential street yep. in a house. Yep. That's going to be super cool. I can't wait to see what, and what we get out And from what of I there. understand, there has been only a few investigation teams that have gone in there. Right. There has not been any uh, public group yet. Right, right. Uh, also, from what I understand, the very downstairs basement has a lock on it. And we've been invited to pop the lock and be the first to go in. Ah! Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be that's gonna be cool. So I'm excited about that. So what's your thoughts on tonight, man? On, I, on this location here? Oh, oh, I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited. So um, I've already been in a few rooms. They have some historic items in it. Um, I have not been upstairs yet, but when I found out that it's uh, a little bit uh, dark, I'm like, yeah, baby. Considering it's still light out. Yeah, I was up there when we first got here. Um, Melissa kind of took me on a little tour, and I was surprised. It, it was it was pitch black, so it's going to be good. What's up, Ted? Hey, Ted. How are you? Hey, Christina. How are you? So we are very excited to be here. So this is a venue that apparently they're opening up. Like I said, it's the grand opening. Bless you. Thank you. Slightly. <laughs> um, so, you know, this is going to be the first public group coming in. I don't yeah, know how many tickets are left, but... Get here while you can get here, and if there's enough room, they'll they'll, they'll throw yeah, you in. And I tell you, uh, Melissa and I were talking. It looks like what we're going to do. I, I I do believe there's another um, investigative team coming, and we'll probably wind up taking the group, splitting into smaller groups, and this place can definitely house everybody because it's it's big. Hey Ted, in answer to your question, yes, we will be doing probably a Facebook live, not going on para, uh, the. The, what, for um, the night? Yeah, for the night. Yeah, that depends. Um, I tried to do a live video a little while ago from right where we're sitting right now. 
and my phone kept cutting out. So it, it ate the signal. If you guys actually could see behind us, right over here behind me, you could probably see some of the wires. Uh, that's where their networking equipment was. So we like, okay, throw up a backdrop, throw up a poster, and hide the wires over here. I'm connected to their network. So that way we could actually stream. <laughs> right. Um, like I said, we have nothing planned for what we're doing right here. So if anybody has any questions, message one of us if you have any, you know, comments, concerns, anything like that. Just let us know. Um, yes, Ted, you are always definite. Um, we've, we've got two more shows booked, and we'll actually have you on right after that. That's not a problem. For those watching, uh, we're talking to Ted. That is the man. The man with the plan. Ted from Del WLFE DB Radio, who and gave us Parat our opportunity to do what we're doing here. And Paratalk Radio. Yes. Um, if you haven't checked out Ted's books, I believe you can get them on Amazon. Yes. Um, the latest one that he wrote that I was fortunate enough to, uh, Ted asked me to write the forward for it. And he wrote the backward instead. It was... <laughs> It's about uh, old school techniques and investigating. Very cool book. Um, he sent me the, the rough draft to read before the publishing, and I did it in two nights easily. I could have did it in one, but I wanted to save it. So uh, yep. very good book. Check out Ted's books, man. They, they are awesome. And yeah. scheduled for uh, Step Into the Paranormal for the 27th is... Dan Class. Everybody knows him from the Haunted Hinsdale House. He's also an established author and paranormal investigator. Yep. And we were looking forward to that. Dan's a uh, really, really super nice guy. And um, I can't wait to hear all his stories about the Hinsdale House. Yep. If you're not familiar with it, just simply look it up. You will be amazed at the Hello? things that have been going on there. And reminder, guys, um, on our last broadcast, we were talking about Mike King and what happened to him. Uh, if you're not sure, right here, hit Paranormal Inc., hit our YouTube channel. Last week's video is already posted up there. Please hit the link and donate. Mike, he's struggling. He has lost literally everything. So um, he's a great guy, great family. You know, he, he would give his shirt off his back to help you out. So if you would, please. I talked to, uh, I talked to Mike, I guess it was, when was it, Mike? Two nights ago, three nights ago, and uh, you know, considering the circumstances, Mike Mike's a uh, trooper. You know what I mean? He's getting getting through it. Yeah. So it, it's devastating. That's you know that's that's one of my biggest fears, man. Yeah, is, losing everything is fires. Um, I've seen so many tragedies, You know, at work, uh, fire related with, and it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's just so devastating, man. Yep, yep, yep. I'm uh, with you. So I talked to him the other night, and you know he he's trying to get by day by day. Um, we had some people donate some stuff to a care package, and uh, Grace and I ran it up to him last yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And I uh, dropped it off and gave him a little bit of love. So thank you for everybody who donated to that package. So what um what's on your agenda for tonight's investigation, man? What do you what do you plan? What uh tricks of the trade you plan on? Utilizing well, tonight. I'm definitely going to be breaking out the uh, SB11. I'm definitely going to be breaking out the uh, REM pod and my Melmeter. Th those are my go-tos. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to start off a little old school tonight, man. Right? Since I've never been here, I want to take a lot of photos. Um, you know, got the good voice recorders with me tonight. See if we pick up any. Because this is actually just like, for us, it's almost like a residential case. Because we, we, we don't know any history. I don't know anything about we it. We know, yeah. All in... This is a cool little town we're in, too, man. It's like yeah. two blocks down from the, the local police station. And they have a Turkey Hill right up the street. <laughs> so anybody <laughs> really wants to get on our good side, stop and get us some ice cream. Since you will be my favorite person tonight. Hang on. <laughs> Ray was watching. Ray, where are my apples, dude? <laughs> I even told Mel that I would have apples delivered to your house. You just work your magic on them. Yeah. My wife even made me uh, save the, uh, you'll know I'm not lying, the green witch's boot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we went, a few years ago, we went to a, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I'm telling them, yeah. but we went to a cookout at uh, Melody and Ray's house. Yeah. And those caramel apples. Man, were they had. The bomb diggity bomb. It was like buffet style, and Ray made some uh, homemade 
caramel apples, mm. and they were mm. so good. He had gave me some to go home, take home, and I ate. Oh, them. I hate you! I ate my yeah, I, I ate them as soon as I got home, man. I ate them. Yep, mine didn't make. I wasn't home. a good choice to eat before I go to sleep, but you were there. She didn't go. Shh. Oh, I didn't go. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, I wasn't there, and I know it wasn't there. <laughs> Christina. Christina, Christina, Christina. Hi, Christina. We miss you. Christina's in Texas. Yeehaw! I'll leave the jokes alone. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we miss you at all the events. Only two to... things in Texas. Steers and... Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, we're, uh, we're used to having you at all the events, you know? So. Yeah. disappointed. Do what? You, you were just disappointed in him. <laughs> he gets so excited before this stuff, man. Yeah. I'm act. I found the perfect job for Dave, and this just come in the spur. Of... When we do these events, this is what I'm going to do, and I want to take a vote. And feel free to comment or. We're going to dress Dave up like a ghost, okay, in a ghost costume, and we're going to stand him out on the street with one of them signs, and he can flip and twirl the sign and and dance and try to lure business into these public events i'm dying for people to come in i can see you doing that man get make somebody somebody make dave up one of them signs he can twirl we'll 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 work for ghost something and we'll even make it easy for you man we'll put like a little spinner on the back you don't even have to twirl you can just pull like this yeah, and just spin it move it around but um anyhow i don't want to take up too much of their time um yeah. But well, if you guys can get out, yeah, like it's I said, a, we're right by Haldeman Mansion. Hour and ten minutes until go time. Uh, one thirty-one Locust Street, Columbia, Pennsylvania. It is the Samuel Miller Mansion. Yep, one thirty-one. Awesome. It's an awesome place. It really is. Um, don't forget tomorrow night is our regular scheduled episode. Um, Step into the paranormal, seven p.m. Eastern time. Laura Shirey from Haldeman. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ted, Ted, I see your message. <laughs> Laura, from uh, formerly from the Haldeman, now York Ghost Tours, will yep. be our special guest. We have so much to talk about. Oh, yeah. We have so yeah. much evidence we could go over. Yeah. We could do a six-hour special oh, and not a, run out of stuff to talk about. So, I have nothing else. We got to start getting ready for the investigation. One love, y'all. Dave and Grace has got to go out to my car and bring my equipment in. Wait, I, you're out of stuff to talk about. I thought you just said you, you have... Uh, tomorrow. Hours. Tomorrow. She, she's not tomorrow. Paying, tomorrow. She's not paying attention. I don't, I don't pay her enough to pay attention. Oh, okay. She's a great roadie. <laughs> she gets half my salary that you give me. I don't know. I set the camera up. That's not part of my job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was upside down. Oh. Well. <laughs> Guys, love you. See you all soon. You've been listening to Step Into the Paranormal with Ernie Atwell and David Seiler. Thank you for listening, and listen in next week for another topic and more great guests, right here on WLFE-DB Radio Network.